Hi there everybody and welcome to another video. On today's video I have these uh, BMW Series 2 2016 uh, is, This is the AF45 chassis the uh, four door, five door car there. Um, I'm going to change the battery in this car and um, the battery is quite a little bit of or quite a lot we need to remove in order to get to the battery so um, I've kind of already removed everything but I just put everything on on top so I can show you quickly how to get to the battery um, if you are going to change the battery also you do need to register um, the replacement with the computer so you do need some kind of OBD or BMW software um, to register the change um, the car still works without registering the change but um, the only thing is the, the computer needs to know apparently it needs to know that you've changed the battery so the alternator can charge accordingly so if your battery is older um, it tends to get more charge to keep it going rather than a brand new battery which uh, may require slightly less charge so apparently uh, we have an intelligent alternator there that uh, sort of charges accordingly depending on the age of the battery so if you put a brand new battery and your alternator is charging an old battery then it can sort of overheat the battery a little bit um, anyway so that's the theory I think as far as I'm aware um, so I'm going to start by removing uh, the wiper blades so I've already removed the wiper blade arms um, I just left the one at the bottom there and that has a 15 or 16 mil nut uh, so first you need to remove this little cover here And then you need to, with a obviously socket and uh, your ratchet, you can undo this with a 16 mil. And then you may actually find a little bit hard to take the arm out. So I've used one of these clamps so you clamp it around the the arm and this bit pushes onto the the bolt so the bolt is coming out where, where we remove the nut um, I've already loosened it so all you have to do is clamp that and then obviously turn it and the wiper pops out so you would need one of these in order to remove it Otherwise, you'll be fiddling quite a lot to try and disconnect that because they get quite stuck in there. They're, they are a little bit like a ball joint. And um, in the past, I, I was sometimes using a small hammer and tapping it on the side and it would pop out. But some of these are really hard to pop out these days. So, so that there works quite well. So, as I said, I've already removed mine, so I can just take them out. And yes, that's the shocking part. You have to remove the wiper blades to get to the battery. How does that make any sense? I have no idea. Well, anyway, um, we also need to remove um, these arms here, or I mean this uh, trim, this bit of trim here. So the best way to remove it is if you have a, a flathead screwdriver or, or, or something like that and you start at the top 
these are um, these are just clipped on. So if you get your screwdriver and put it in here, you can pop this open all along like that. And once you get to that point, you need to. I don't know if I'm filming there, but uh, once you get to that point down there, then you need to slide the trim sort of up. So it comes out of this bit here. And we can leave that bit of trim there and you're going to do the same for the other side. So start at the top and then slide it up. And once you've done that, we can continue with removing this bit of trim as well. So that just pops, comes out really it's only plugged in this part here is just plugged in along there and I already obviously had it loose so you just pull it out basically um, at which point we're also going to pull out this trim as well um, so you want to take this out Right, that's sort of, so you pull out the front part and then you just pull it out. Uh, mine is coming out a lot easier because obviously it was already out. And next, so once you got that part out, then we want to remove uh, this bit here as well. And uh, you will find that there's an 8 mil bolt screwed right in here just an 8 mil bolt if you take that 8 mil out you'll be able to remove this little cover here again put it to one side and then you will find another 8 mil bolt which I already removed as well so there will be another 8 mil over in that corner there. So take that 8 mil out as well and with the one you already removed here and also you're gonna want to remove this 13 mil bolt that is sitting just here as well. Take that out and there will be another one 13 mil down there little bit difficult to see however I'll show you the where the hole is because I already removed that 13 mil so it's just down there okay so in this part here once you remove the eight mil bolts there you'll be able to lift it out um, however this wire will be attached to the battery positive so you want to remove which I've already done as well but I'll show you there there will be a 13 mil bolt so let me just take this out now there will be this 13 mil uh, sorry uh, nut there if you undo it you'll be able to disconnect that. This is just for the jump uh, start. If, if your battery ever went flat, this is the bit you use to connect your jump starter or obviously the, uh, the cables um, for jump starting from another car. That is your positive side and uh, your negative for jump starting is, uh, is just here as well.
which is covered by that round thing that we removed earlier on. Now, um, this has also some eight mil bolts, but uh, in order to remove this bit a little bit, we need to remove this here. And to remove that there, you need to basically So if you look at it from this side, maybe. This part here is sort of plugged onto the, in between the windscreen and the, and the, the bulkhead there. So you need to sort of lift it up like so and sort of disconnect it all the way to the other side. So I'm going to just uh, do that. It's a little bit plugged in on that end, but because uh, I already done it. <coughs> but basically, Okay, so let's uh, okay, just get it out of the way to one side there, and then you can already start to see the battery. That particular battery is a 70 amp battery. So just make sure you get the correct battery for your car. Um, obviously you have all the, the numbers there that you need to get a replacement battery. Okay, so just a step I forgot to show you um, while removing everything to get to the battery. I forgot to show you and I already uh, sort of done the rest of the video. Uh, which will carry on after this bit, but uh, you also need to remove this bar here uh, with an E. This is an uh, what is this uh, E18? With an E18, you need to take that out, and also you need to the, undo the one by the bulkhead there. Also the same size. You don't need to remove it; just loosen it. Just loosen it and so you can move this arm out of the way because that's going to interfere when you pull the battery out. Uh, so now we'll uh, continue the, the video. Now in this cover here you will find another 8 mil bolt there and another one there and I think there's another one in there. Um, and yet another one in the center. However, I didn't really remove the entire that entire cover. Just remove those uh, eight mil bolts, and then and also what I did is I loosened the cover here for the air filter. The air filter cover is got those uh, Torx screws. I think they are T thirties. So there's only three of them. There's one there. There's another one sitting just somewhere here. Um, I think. Where is it? Well, let me have a look. 
there's only two or three uh, torques, and then you're able to lift this cover out a little bit out of the way. Okay, so that's the screw there. There's one there, one in the center. Well, not so much in the center here, and another one on this end. And if you lift it out a little bit, then you'll be able to basically lift this cover up a bit and take this out. Um, so if you don't move this out of the way a little bit, it sort of, um, this part gets a little bit stuck. You can still fiddle it out of there, but uh, I found it's a little bit easier if you just move that a little bit out of the way. And then in there you will see the battery clamp as well, another 13 mil sitting down there. Can't quite see it very well, but there it is. And if you loosen that 13 mil, obviously you can take that battery clamp out and now we have obviously um, now our battery is loose uh, but we still have to disconnect the uh, terminals now the only thing is um, I'm not entirely sure I never actually changed one of these in one of these cars so I don't know if it's going to erase whatever you may have on your radio. Uh, in this particular car, uh, it's just been sold, so we've reset the, the radio altogether, um, which means it doesn't really make any difference if I disconnect it and then reconnect it, um, because the new owner is going to add <laughs> their own things. Um, And also, I'm not sure either whether when you disconnect this, the, the radio uh, gets locked out or anything like that. But I don't think that is the case on this car. Um, but we'll find out now anyway. <laughs> uh, but it's a, it's a good thing to read your manual um, about changing the batteries, because uh, then that may actually say something. Uh, so I'm going to disconnect the negative side first here. Ten mil. We can hopefully okay, so that's a uh negative side is connected and uh, we may want to unplug this as well get that out of the way and then I'm going to disconnect the positive side And as you can see, this cable may be a little bit tight, so we may want to uh, disconnect this here, this terminal here, just to make it easier for us to separate that so we can get the battery out. So with a 13 mil, let's loosen that clamp, maybe loosen this one as well, just uh, 
I already had that one loose because I removed the... Actually, we may only need to remove this one because it looks like this terminal is connected there. Right, so potentially we don't really need to disconnect that one. We can just move that out of the way. Just want, we just don't want things on the way where while we are trying to get that battery out because it's, it's in a, a little bit of a into the car and we need to pull it out and we don't want to hurt our backs <laughs> so let's uh, remove that battery now also you can disconnect or pull this uh, this is like a little breather hose. It's just plugged in on the side. Okay, so that is out. Now I am going to get the new battery in there. So we have our positive there and uh, I think from this point on if you manage to get to this point <laughs> um, it's pretty much now goes without saying because refitting everything will be just the reversal of Reversal of removal. So actually, maybe before connecting any of these cables back, it'll be easier to connect your um, battery clamp down there. So, got the clamp in there. Just gonna tap this in a little bit. So I can get it to sit properly. So, just temporarily, I'm gonna fit that there. I will get this cover back on. If you forget to tighten the 10 mil and then, then you fit this on, it'll be a bit difficult to get your ratchet in there, so you can use a spanner to tighten it.
and uh, that's pretty much it just got my filter cover back in there and uh, well now let's uh, have a quick look at the radio hopefully it's um, Hopefully everything is still alive. I'm gonna bring the computer as well just to reset the uh, the battery. All right, so let's get this uh, let's get this car started. So no warning lights, nothing here. Radio seems to be working okay as well. All the bits are there. Everything that we need. So now I'm just waiting for the uh, OBD computer so I can register the new battery to the uh, ECU. So I'm gonna use here Insta Plus to register the new battery, and um, I've already accessed the system. So I'm just gonna go to uh, vehicle management here and then service functions and then uh, we want to look for the battery Let me just check this so if we just go into body there then go down to voltage supply go to battery battery there and then it says um, it says register battery exchange and you select that my gloves kind of select everything automatically. Let me just put OK in there. So it says here register battery exchange. And then go to continue. And then you want to choose. Um, so in this case, a 70 amp AGM battery. I got a, I got the same capacity battery, AGM as well. Because this car is a um, start stop, so the battery you would get would be an AGM. So just enter. Same. And then go to continue. these gloves are very annoying and then it's asking if the battery is original in this case it's not it's not original continue so it says just wait Now it says battery exchange was successfully registered. The following was entered. So we have the kilometers and whatnot. And then we can just go to continue. And fully functionality is only available with a valid state of charge function such as automatic start stop function or intelligent generator control can be restricted up to a fully valid charge okay so we just go to continue and then it's giving you the date that it was installed and the time then go to continue service function it's finished continue
and then we just go back to that from our menu. So from here, I'm just going to exit or terminate this uh, this session. Um, and um, to be honest, I'm just messing around with my glove here. It's not letting me do this properly, but. Uh, <laughs> But um, what I'll do is, uh, yeah, I'll just come out of this menu now. But uh, as far as register, uh, changing the battery on this uh, Series 2, that's pretty much how you uh, are supposed to kind of go ahead and do it. Um, so having said all of that, I hope this video helps. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.